Now, you probably know about the boy who lived, Harry Potter. He survived and eventually beat the undefeatable Voldemort. A child did what most adults couldn't. Now, this comes to mind because recently, a similar fantasy played out in the world of sports when the impossible game finally met its match. In this teenager, a 13-year-old prodigy from Oklahoma, Willis Gibson. He's beaten Tetris, the so-called endless game, and millennials across the world, of course, are feeling vindicated. And there is this personal sense of victory in this. Tetris is a simple game. The user has to manipulate falling blocks of varying shapes, which have to be fit together to create solid rows. Sounds pretty simple, right? But I never said it was easy. And that's what makes it hugely popular. It was invented about four decades ago. It was designed in 1984 by a Soviet engineer. Then Nintendo, the gaming company, picked it up in 1989. Soon it became a global sensation. Its mobile version has been sold 100 million times, making it the third best-selling video game of all. And today there are over 200 variants of this. That's a world record. Tetris has a massive community of players too. They compete in world championships. All of them are drawn in by the game's simplicity. But as the level goes up, the blocks fall faster. The players get overwhelmed. And Tetris always wins. Except that one time in 2021 when artificial intelligence defeated it because losing is not in Tetris' DNA, quite literally. In technical terms, Tetris was not designed to be won. So how did the teenager do it? Let me show you. The excitement is quite palpable. Gibson played the game for 38 minutes and reached level 157. At this point, the screen froze, meaning the game crashed, which is why leading up to it, you see the level reader glitch. From numbers to alphabets, that's because of the limitations in Tetris's coding. When a player achieves scores that are so high, the game's memory bank overloads and Tetris simply becomes unplayable. Now, Gibson is the first human to do this, and this is of massive importance. That's the narrative I want to delve on, that it goes beyond the realm of just this game. It's a showcase of the big picture. It proves yet again that the future has arrived, that this sporting world now belongs to child prodigies, and we are all just living in it, in theirs. The new crop is growing the world over. I'll give you another example. Just look at Luke Littler, a 16-year-old dart prodigy from the UK. He comes from a family of darts fanatics, and he has been playing the game since he was 18 months old. But recently, he saw a meteoric rise. He made it to the nail-biting finale of the World Darts Championship this week, a championship where the average age of a winner is 38 years old. Now, Littler was defeated by Luke Humphreys, the world number one, but even so, Littler was the real star of the tournament, and that's not all. No game is swamped with prodigies like chess, many of whom come from India, like the 18-year-old R. Pragyananda. He's the OG, brothers followed closely, like Gukesh. Arjun Erigesi and Nihal Sari. Or look at skateboarding. It is not only attracting young players, but many young female athletes. Take Mazel Paris Aligado, for instance. She's a nine-year-old skateboarder from the Philippines. Last year, she made history at the Asian Games in China. She became the competition's youngest ever participant, making it to the finals. Then there is 13-year-old Momiji Nishiya of Japan. In 2021, she made history by becoming the first Olympic champion in the women's street skateboarding competition and the fifth youngest gold medalist in Olympic history. Frankly, the list is endless and this is exciting. It is always fascinating to see young people achieve the very best, which made German tennis legend Steffi Graf or Romanian gymnast Nadia Comaneci such hits. Prodigies are a cause for inspiration, of hope that can inspire athletes the world over. So such achievements have reignited the old age-old debate about age restrictions at global sporting events, such as the Olympics. But there is a flip side too. Breaking the ceiling at a very young age brings with it something more than just pressure. Sports is a field that particularly deals with concerns of longevity. longevity. There is a shelf life for athletes. Like any career, it's about pacing yourself to hit the last stretch with as much steam. And many child prodigies face the possibility of burnout stress and all the trappings that come with it. But having realized dreams also far too earlier than most others, this is something that comes with it. But with so many child prodigies cropping up, maybe the positive way to look at it would be that the others around them, the support system, will also grow and develop a way to nurture these geniuses 
and preserve their talent and sanity in a rat race that is the world of sport.